Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Now, as you can see, I am doing Warframe on the iPhone 14. I was given access to the beta, closed beta of Warframe on mobile. I did a video covering Warframe on mobile on the iPhone 12 to give an idea of how it works on the older devices. Now I'm doing Warframe on the iPhone 14 Pro that uses the A16 chip. Again, I'm going to be skipping as little as possible during this video so I can actually show you guys what it looks like. Now, for disclosure, when I originally recorded the footage, it did not record that notch you see uh, on the left side. Um, but that notch is there in the game when you actually play it on the iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max and presumably other devices going forward. So I do want you to keep that in mind. If I'm being honest, maybe, maybe they should consider an option where you can, you know, minimize the game a little bit. You know, if you don't like the notch or something there. It being where it is right now doesn't bug me too much. But yeah, let's get back into the gameplay. Actually, if I'm being honest, my thumb was around that area. So, you know, it really didn't, it wasn't intrusive or anything at all. But I do want to, I did want to point that out. Make sure you guys know that that is indeed going to be there. The game doesn't like hide over it or anything. I don't think any game does, actually. But, yeah. Anyway. So, the thing about it is, at first, I had the same problem with the buttons, right? As you can see, sometimes I bump into stuff. Sometimes when I try to jump, I don't end up jumping right. And then the camera gets all rotating. And the you see it going slow, that isn't uh, something in the hardware or anything. It's not a hardware limitation. I just, it was very hard to control with my thumb. Uh, now, like I said in the iPhone 12 video, I think that they should just make it so we could tinker how we want per se. With that said, however, the Warframe Mobile does support, even the currently enclosed beta, it does actually support Bluetooth controllers. So that's your DualShock 4 controller, DualShock five controller maybe DualShock 3 haven't tested it out it supports your xbox controllers i believe xbox yeah you know basic bluetooth controller you have it it supports bluetooth it would support it so that's also a way to go you can bypass most of the controls mobile controls all together but the beauty of Warframe is it seamlessly goes back and forth so you can actually tap the screen at any time to get your mobile controls back for you. Now with that said I would like to still see the customization such as different you know, you being able to map the dead zone as it were on touchscreen controls and whatnot. You know, some feedback. And overall, may I say, I was mostly impressed with the performance. First of all, 
It seems a little crispier on the 14 Pro than it did on the 12. Well, quite a bit crispier. And second of I might want really to suggest if you're bound to using the mobile controls, I don't know if this will change, but right now, Vault is killing it. I mean, the thing is, Vault is even when I can't see. I just use his one, and his one does it in an area of effect. It's not like Oberon's one, where you have to have the target in line of sight. Well, not just line of sight. You'll have to, with Oberon's one, you had to anyway. I don't know if that's still the case, but some Warframes, you have to have the aim radical on them in order to but with Fault, you don't. Fault just does the lightning thing. He also has the chain lightning thing he can do. But yeah, it is... It's good to see. It's good to see the improvements and all that jazz that comes from it upgrading like I said, this is the A16 chip, and I believe the iPhone 12 was running the A14 Bionic chip. This is the A16 Bionic chip, so it makes sense that it is a bit more powerful and possibly more crisp. I personally just got this iPhone 14 Pro not too long ago, um, so I, I'm still in that honeymoon period as it was, so let me know in the comment section below if you think it's more crisp on here than the 12, or do you think it's about the same? or exactly the same, because, you know, of course, I'm going to be like, oh, the 14 Pro is amazing. It does everything amazing, way better. It does do certain things faster. Um, it also has a faster refresh rate, honestly, which could be helping it up quite a bit. I mean, I guess refresh rate might come into play somewhat here i uh, maybe i think yeah so yeah warframe on mobile not just on mobile on the iphone 14 pro i actually think it might be a good idea still to play it on the iPad at this moment in time, if you'd like to see gameplay of me playing it on the iPad or me playing it on anything I play it on, I will actually put a card to the Warframe mobile playlist that I have that you can definitely check out if you wish to. But yeah, I think this is where I'm going to end it off. Hopefully, you guys found this illuminating in some way, shape, or form. Because I really did enjoy recording it and, you know, talking about this with you guys. And if you guys have any suggestions for DE... Feel free to leave them in the comment section, and who knows, it might get to them. 